Hey everybody, Joe here. I'm back again, and this time around I just want to share some of my thoughts on the Switch. Everybody else has given their two cents. Here's mine. And I just have a list of some games. I actually made some notes for this, so if you see me looking down, that's what that's all about. And I figure, what the heck, let's just get into it. Let's talk about some games. I got five I want to talk about. Maybe you can call this a top five. Been a while since Joe's done a top five, right? Okay, well here I am. Here's the list. Right off the bat, 1-2 Switch. Not feeling this one at all. This is an over-glorified tech demo. Everybody's saying that already. This probably should have been the pack-in game if they were going to go that route, which they didn't. But even as a budget title, I just don't really see this one flying. I mean, maybe if you're buying it for kids or something, maybe. You know, Nintendo likes doing these party game type things, and there's nothing wrong with that. Totally cool. But just not my cup of tea. When I tuned into the presentation, I didn't get home from work until after 11, so I missed a little bit of it in the beginning. And I tuned in right about the time they were showing ARMS. And when I first saw ARMS, I thought this looked pretty cool, but the more I looked at the trailers, watched the presentation again, it just, something about it, again, something I'm just not feeling. It's neat, don't get me wrong, but something about it, just, it's a little weird, a little off, not really, doesn't look quite as fun as when I first laid eyes on it. Hope that makes sense, but I think you get what I'm talking about. And the next one on my list is Puyo Puyo Tetris. I mean, come on, Puyo Puyo Tetris. Yes, Puyo Puyo Tetris. Sega, working with Tetris Company, working with Nintendo, whomever's involved in this, it doesn't seem like it'd be right not to do some kind of handheld type device from Nintendo without something Tetris. At least in my opinion, I know Nintendo doesn't have the license for Tetris anymore or whatever, but Sega's developing this probably because they, you know, were the creators of Puyo Puyo, them and, uh, Compile, I think? Anyway, I love puzzle games, so this one, this is up my alley. This looks like fun. If they're doing this in the way that they did, like, the Tetris Dr. Mario on the Super Nintendo back in the day, that would be cool, where you gotta, like, be good at both to really play the, you know, changing levels, especially if you do the head-to-head -head stuff. That could have a lot of potential to be a lot of fun, at least in my opinion. From the opening part of the trailer for this one, I was not expecting it to be a Mario game, and then Mario popped out of the manhole and started running around the city, and he's only about crotch toe on everybody else, which I thought was really weird. For some reason, that just reminds me of Sonic 06, for some reason. You know, you get the cartoony proportionate character, and then all these normal looking human type characters, whatnot. It's just a little off, but the rest of the game looked really cool, really neat. You see all these things that remind you of 64 or Galaxy or even Mario 3D World and it's just a neat combination of all this stuff. People are saying this looks like it's going to be a more trickier Mario game and that's cool, nothing wrong with that. I mean, people absolutely love Mario 64 and yeah, I played it a little bit and like it. Not my favorite Mario game, but that's beside the point. If people are going to wait to get the Switch, they're probably going to wait to get the Switch to get this game. And I don't blame them, really. I mean, this is probably one going to be one of the selling points, you know, Mario games, killer app. I think you already know what I'm going to talk about next, and that, of course, is Breath of the Wild. This is one that I really, really have to check out, really want to play. It looks so good, both the Wii U and the Switch versions, mind you. I'm not just talking about one or the other on this. They both look excellent. And I really, the more I see about it, the more I want to know, the more I want to hear, the more I want to play the damn game. I mean, all this weird pseudo-technological stuff. Link's got this iPad he's walking around with that they're calling a Sheikah Slate. There's all this stuff. I mean, from what I'm grasping from little bits and pieces of watching demos and clips and whatnot, I mean, it almost makes the Sheikah sound like in this iteration of the story, ancient visitors who gave technology, you know? I'm not saying they're aliens, but they're aliens. I'm probably repeating myself when I say it, but I do love the way the game looks, and I can't wait to get my hands on it. And it's a really good thing that I've had a pre-order on Amazon for this darn game ever since, say, uh, 
it was still called Legend of Zelda U. Yeah. This whole modular game system, it's a combo of being able to be a handheld, be a home console, all that. I think this is great. The whole idea of wanting to be able to play console level AAA games on the go is something that people have, you know, talked about trying to do and wanting to do for a while. And I guess there is a bit of that already with some mobile devices, but this is Nintendo doing it, so this is a game company doing this, not a hardware manufacturer or anything like that, so it really, you know, it has potential. I know Sony with the Vita and even the PSP before, they were trying to do that type of thing, but Nintendo is taking it to the point of the game that you're playing at home is the game you're playing on the go, because it's the same damn cartridge. And that's, you know, that's, I think, where the whole idea is getting. Yeah, the battery life could be better, but then again, they could probably make some kind of case or something that has a little extra charge to it. And of course, it's a little surprised that Nintendo's keeping motion control and touchscreen, which are gimmicky things which Nintendo's done before quite a bit. It kind of wouldn't be Nintendo without some weird stuff going on, I don't think, anymore. I mean, look at the last two consoles. And I'm cool with that. And to wrap things up, am I getting a Switch? Oh yeah, I definitely am, but I am not getting it right away. I have not pre-ordered the thing. I'm gonna wait until at least the fall. So let's say I'm going to give it six to eight months before I buy the thing. That's me. And you know what? I think that's probably the better idea. Have these games already available by the time I'm ready to jump on board. I will say, knowing, I will say, since there is a new Zelda and a new Mass Effect both coming out in the month of March, and I got them both pre-ordered, so if nobody sees me very much in the month of March, I think you're gonna know why. Now, what are your thoughts on the Switch? Let's hear your two cents now that you've heard mine. Are you thinking of getting it? What do you think? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Anything you wish to have seen or heard more about? You know, leave a comment. Love to hear from you. Hope you've enjoyed this uh, random thoughts on the Switch, whatever you want to call it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.